All right, guys, I feel like I can already hear people in the comment section below calling me out for just making this video. But today we're going to look at my Benchmade collection in its entirety and go over all of them, which ones I like the most and which ones I like the least and kind of just briefly go, going over all of them. Now, of course, I also occasionally do full state of the collection videos, but sometimes it's nice to break down by brand my knives. So let's talk about Benchmades and why I own so many. Now, if you guys have been around the channel for any length of time, you will know that I am not a very large Benchmade fan, which may sound kind of counterintuitive seeing as there are seven Benchmades here in the collection and I've owned gosh at least 30 different Benchmades through my course of time and we're talking anything from the high-end knives such as the 630 and the 761 I believe it is all the way down to lower end I guess what you'd consider Benchmades like these mini grips and just griptillions but I do not like them for a number of different reasons, and so I'm not going to try to get into this video too much of why I dislike Benchmade, so we can just talk about these guys, but ultimately it just comes down to very much a disagreeance of how they see their brand versus how I see their brand. You know, a lot of people bring up the whole anti-2A kind of thing from Benchmade, and that certainly doesn't help. I don't love that they are definitely anti-Second Amendment, but also too, I think the biggest thing I dislike about Benchmade is really they have this mantra of too big to fail, and so they've let a lot of their quality control kind of fall by the wayside because they have enough government contracts and people that will just logistically buy Benchmades because they are Benchmades. So that's kind of my disagreement in how they see the world. I don't see it that same way, and I think that they ultimately betray their customers a lot by being that way. So anyways, let's jump into some Benchmades. So first off, let's talk about my most favorite Benchmade of them all in my whole collection and time owning Benchmades, and that has to be the Benchmade 630 Skirmish. Now, in fairness, I don't tend to EDC this knife too much anymore, but this knife, when I first kind of came into the knife scene, was a grail for me. So to own one, to have one is really awesome, and I love Neil Blackwood's Skirmish. Uh, design, and so I wish that these were, or I, re I wish that real uh, skirmishes were more readily available, but they are like unobtainium. So this is the closest thing I can get to a Blackwood skirmish. So I love it; it's cool, and it's also, I think, aside from that, speaks to the kind of golden age of Benchmade back when they did make really quality tools that were, I don't want to say reasonably priced, because the skirmish was pretty expensive when it dropped, and of course now. It's it's only more expensive, but the Skirmish is a really good example of the quality that Benchmade had back in the late 2000s, early 2010s. All right, so next one up, that's probably my favorite, is going to be the full-sized Griptilian. And that's primarily because this was my first real uh, like EDC knife that was a high quality knife. Of course, I had some like slip joints and other things and maybe some like uh, Victorinoxes that are not poor quality, but you know, this is my first real like EDC knife. And so the 550 Benchmade Griptilian is really near and dear to my heart for that reason. Now, the next ones up, as far as favorites go, are going to be my mini grips. And my mini grips are so well loved because they are, once again, another a testament to, and I think like really a staple of the Benchmade brand. Like the Griptilian slash mini grip is what put Benchmade on the map and made them so well known in the EDC community. And that's because they're super useful, super nice, and they really fit a lot of like a wide variety of different needs and uses. So here we have a couple of them. This is the 556. I'll actually pull these guys out so you can see their um, different blade shapes. But this is a 556. This is a 557. So for those who don't know, I feel like the Tonto versions of the Griptilians never really get that much time. So the 553 would be the Tonto version of the full-sized grip. The 557 is the mini version. So you have the 556, the 555, and the 557 as far as your mini grips, and then you have the 550, the 551, and the 553, I believe, are the full-sized griptillions, and they're different blade shapes. And actually, these are all the blade shapes. You have this drop point, you have a tonto, and you have you have the sheep's footed, sorry, the Tonto, and the drop point. So those are all the different flavors of Griptilians. They're really cool. I think they are all pretty unique, pretty useful, and I really do like Griptilians. So for those wondering, I do like my Griptilians. 
So the next up for me, I think the one that would be the like the next I would love the most is the original Adamus. Now I don't have my D2 Adamus anymore because I have long since sold it, but that was one of my first when I was really getting past my Griptilian and wanting more expensive, just better quality knives. The D2 Adamus was one that I got. I have a review on the channel from ages ago of that knife and I really loved it. It was super tough, super durable, and was like a really stout, almost, almost fixed blade like knife. And so I did, like I said, sell that one off, but I got these two hoping they would be as strong. Unfortunately, the Auto Adamus or the 2750 and the 273 Mini Adamus are not like their ancestor or their uh, predecessor. They are not as strong. Both of the locks do fail on these guys and this one even has a little bit of lock rock in it, unfortunately. But I do, I will say, even though I don't love the lock up on either of these knives, they are really cool. I love the simple cyber design and I honestly love the size of the Adamus. The size, the feel, the mini Adamus is like perfect for me. If it wasn't for the fact that there's like a little bit of lock rock in this thing, um, I, I really do love this knife. And I've also kind of tuned it up so it is super, super smooth. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, it is what it is about uh, as far as the lock goes up or as far as the locking is concerned or lockup is concerned, it is a little unfortunate. But as far as uh, the blade steel goes, CPM Crew Wear is awesome. I put a nice polished edge on this one. Really tried to love this, and I still honestly kind of do love my Mini Adamus, but is just not very trustworthy. I will say the Auto Adamuses are really cool. They are very, very snappy. They do pretty much need two hands to be realistically closed, but super snappy, super strong. It's just unfortunate that the lock really isn't there. All right, last one up, and this one probably surprises some people that I put the bug out in my own personal collection as the last up. But that's because I honestly don't really love the bug out. Now, some people will sit there and say, and don't get me wrong, it is an incredibly lightweight knife. It's incredibly slim. Mine is even the Blade HQ exclusive in 20 CV, so it's definitely upgraded from the standard, like, you know, uh, FRN handles and S30V blade. This one has these. 20 CV with G10 handles. So in all ways, this is a superior to stock bug out. But as far as it goes, I just don't really love the super slim, super lightweight folders. It's this whole trend that's uh, going on. It has been for a while of like super lightweight, super slim, uh, super thin folders. And I will occasionally carry this if I want those factors. But for the most part, like what's in my pocket right now is a Strider SNG, right? Like I don't mind having a little bit thicker, little bit more beefy blade in my pocket and it doesn't really phase me so the bug out has never really worked for me a lot of people complain about the omega springs i've never had any issues with my personal bug out but uh, i definitely could see that as a problem so anyways that is my collection of benchmades hopefully you enjoyed it and as always guys god bless and i'm out